Green tea is a popular beverage that's recognized for its high antioxidant content and health benefits. But how much should you drink to achieve these benefits and could too much be dangerous? That's the topic of this video. Green tea is loaded with nutrients and plant compounds that are linked to protective effects on cardiovascular health and even cancer risk. However, studies that explore the benefits of green tea show conflicting evidence about exactly how much you should drink each day. Uh, some show health benefits in people who drink as little as one cup per day, while other studies uh, deem five or more cups per day to be optimal. For example, these observational studies found that those who drank five or more cups per day had reduced risk of prostate cancer and stomach cancer. These two observational studies showed reduced recurrences of breast cancer in women who drank more than three cups of green tea daily. And finally, in this analysis of nine studies, they found that people who consumed one to three cups of green tea daily had a lower risk of heart attack and stroke compared to those who drank less than one cup. As you can see, the weight of evidence indicates that it's optimal to drink an average of three to five cups per day uh, for the potential benefits. Possible side effects of drinking green tea. The caffeine and catechins in green tea are well known for their health benefits, but they can also cause side effects for some people, especially in large doses. Uh, consuming too much caffeine can increase feelings of anxiety, uh, interfere with sleep, and cause stomach upset and headaches in some people. Uh, while pregnant, it may even increase the risk of birth defects uh, and miscarriage. The amount of caffeine in one cup of green tea uh, depends on how much tea was used and the length of time that the tea leaves uh, steep in water. Generally speaking, the average cup of green tea contains about 20 to 40 milligrams of caffeine. Now we would consider a high caffeine intake to be 300 milligrams or more. So even if you had uh, six cups of green tea, it would only be equivalent to about one strong cup of coffee in terms of the caffeine intake. As for catechins in green tea, they may reduce your ability to absorb iron from foods. In fact, consuming catechins in large quantities may lead to iron deficiency anemia. Most healthy individuals will be fine, but those at risk of iron deficiency should consider drinking tea in between meals and waiting at least one hour after eating before drinking tea. Also note that the catechins in green tea uh, can interfere with certain medications and decrease their effectiveness. For example, studies indicate that green tea may inhibit the effectiveness of certain heart and blood pressure medications, uh, may also decrease the effects of uh, certain medications used to treat anxiety and depression. Fortunately, these effects are most common when people take green tea supplements, which have a much higher concentration of catechins than green tea itself. Ultimately, green tea's benefits far outweigh its risks, so if you drink it regularly, then that's a good thing. Thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you found it informative, and don't forget to subscribe to Healthline's Authority and Nutrition YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button below this video.